Kids and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm your host Bob the Tomato, and I'm Larry the Cucumber, and we're here to answer your questions. Yep. All right. First things first. Today's letter we got is from Terence Peters of Queens, New York. He writes, "Dear Bob and Larry, whenever me and my friends are talking about the solutions to our problems, one of them tends to get an idea without thinking carefully. Sometimes things go wrong because of him." Can you help him think carefully when he gets ideas? Signed, Terence. Oh, that is a problem. Yeah, so what do you suppose he should do? Well, I don't know. Wait, Bob, do you have a story for this? Oh, you know we do, Larry. All right, Terence, sit back and watch the story of the princess and the prophet P. Once upon a time, in a place called Rutterdam, there lived a pea. He was a prophet, meaning he served as a proclaimer of God's will. The pea was a young boy who went to church and prayed to God every day in his life. He was taught to always obey what he was told, even what God told to him. He learned that being a prophet requires delivering messages to various places, including those from far away. God chose him as he felt that the pea had such great skill and obedience for the job. The pea did what God told him, and after a while of training, he was appointed as a prophet. He then started to share God's word with the people around him, and all in Rutherden. One day, he was faced with a rather unusual dilemma. Who goes there? It is I, the prophet P, and I want to ask the king something. Well, you cannot enter this palace. Yeah, get out of here. Oh my, I gotta run from these crooks. Our hero had to think quickly. What the kind of a pizza can I deliver for your people today? What? Hola, my friends! Como estas? Wait a minute. Isn't that the same old pea? Um, maybe this ought to do it. Nah. No! Oh, if only I could enter the palace without being noticed. All well, the solutions I tried so far just aren't working. What to do, what to do? That evening, while the pea was sleeping, he was still thinking of how to approach the king. A plan, a plan, he has a plan. Follow it rightfully and you'll be glad. God is a guide and he will help you through. He knows just what the right thing is to do. Listen to God if you want to make it through. A plan, a plan. He has a plan, I'll follow it rightfully and I'll be glad. God is my guide and he will help me through. He knows just what the right thing is to do. I'll listen to God if I want to make it through. Maybe the angel was right. The pea really should learn to follow God's plan. That night, a storm came. There was thunder and lightning, and the rain poured down in torrents. The king was sitting down at his throne enjoying himself, when suddenly a knock was heard at the palace doors, and the king went to open it. Coming! Oh my, you look wet. That storm must be powerful. The princess took twenty mattresses and laid them on the pea. Having slept on the mattress that night, the princess woke up and felt a little strange. Oh my, I made out something. I wonder what it is. It was at this moment the princess had realized she felt a pee through the mattresses. The next morning, the king and the princess were having an affair when someone came in.
I must say, you're looking great today. Why, thank you, King. Hello? Who is that? Are you the Prophet B? Why, yes, I am. And why are you here? I need to ask you something. Something God told me. Which is? I'd like to know if I could marry the princess while putting the guard somewhere far away. Sure, why not? All right. Why are we here? What did we do? This marriage was unexpected. Guards, you're about to regret what you did. I'm sending you to the dungeon for ten years, and afterwards, you will leave the kingdom and never come back. No! no. What's up, no. Pete? What are you doing to us? I don't want to go to jail! So with the guards put into the dungeon, the princess and the prophet Pete were finally married. And that is a true story. Well, that was a very great story. I see. <clears throat> We're over here by Couch of the Toaster to talk about what we learned today. In our story, the P learned that it's always important to follow God's plan, especially when others may end up with crazy ideas. Now, let's see if Couch of has a verse for us. Ah! Oops, sorry. Larry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. And... Okay, what's the verse say, Larry? God said in Proverbs 16, 9, In their hearts, humans plan their toys, but the Lord establishes their steps. <laughs> I think you need to watch out the next time I talk out of Bible verse. Well, take note of that. Anyways, if you want to have a good idea for a solution, work as a team and see whose idea might be the best to agree on. Mmm, yummy! Next time I might want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this. Excuse me. Well, do that some other time. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye! Bye! Bye.